What a wonderful morning it is. And I woke up feeling that I wanted to show you what I eat and do within a day. And yeah, I woke up around 5.30 and I've just been in silence in my bed, feeling blissed out and so calm and so grateful for my life that I get to lead every single day because I get to live the life of my dreams. And yeah, just because I made the choice to do so. And if I can do it, you can do it too. It's only your mind's limitations that's stopping you from creating what you want. So you can make a choice to create what you want. Now it's time to go to the beach to start the second day of my new routine, which is doing a run on the beach to get my body into a ketogenic diet even faster while fasting with my one meal a day diet. Get running, shall we? That's it, done. 1.37 kilometers. Just a very short run, not with like a high speed, but yeah, still a brilliant way to start the day and get me in to that deeply fasted state. So yeah, I'm gonna get a move on, head home, and start editing an ab workout that I'm gonna show you that I created for myself yesterday. It is really, really intense. I hope you enjoy this. So I'm now back, and now I'm gonna get on with one of my morning routines that I do every single morning. And people keep asking me, what supplements do I take? And what I say is, it's okay to take vitamins and minerals and also hormone supplements as well. It will not break you out of a fasting state and will give you the full benefits of fasting. So you don't need to be concerned about that. But do not be taking things such as protein powder or pre-workouts have sugar added to them or some other garbage or even amino acids, because that can break you out of a fasted state. So something I've been taking for a while now is DHEA, and this is mesh micronized DHEA in powder form with nothing added. Almost all my supplements I take are in powder form because then I can make sure they've got nothing toxic added to them because a lot of supplements that are pre-made are very, very toxic because a lot of toxic substances are added to them. And then I also can make sure that I can weigh out the specific dosages that I need and it variates from day to day. So yeah, I'll be taking that one in a minute. And if you don't know what DHEA is, I'll read out now because I don't remember it all off by heart. But DHEA is also known as androstenolone and it is an endogenous steroid hormone. It is one of the most abundant circulating steroids in humans in whom it is produced in the adrenal glands, the gonads and the brain where it functions as a met metabolic intermediate in the biosynthesis of the androgen and estrogen sex steroids. And so many people are very low in DHEA, especially when you start to get to 30 years old and older, and I'm around 30 years old. And the reason why I started taking it recently, I've had some major, major stress in life that's been making my cortisol levels really high. And when cortisol levels go really high, DHEA levels go down. And most people have elevated cortisol levels. And on top of the stress that I normally don't have in my life, with everything else with my busy entrepreneur life and just my busy lifestyle in general yeah it was just taking a toll on my body so yeah when you're taking DHEA it will actually start to lower the cortisol levels and the benefits that I've noticed one is I've had a lot more energy levels throughout the day and also during my training sessions I can train way longer it takes me a lot longer time to get fatigued I'm also feeling stronger I'm noticing an increase in my muscle mass my cognitive functions are working a lot more optimally all around. And just holistically, mentally and physically, I'm feeling a lot better. So yeah, I take anywhere from 25 to 50 milligrams this morning, it would be 25 milligrams. And I always take it just before training as well because it helps with my workouts massively. And I find after I'm done with training, my cortisol levels don't stay really high for hours afterwards. So I found that sometimes happens with training with me and it's not good, it's actually damaging to my health holistically. So yeah, 
I absolutely love this one. But yeah, most people will want to be buying this in an encapsulated form, and I'll put some links down below for some DHE supplements in case you're interested in them. But I would recommend getting your DHEA levels tested, and I wouldn't really recommend it to anyone that is under 30 years old unless you've been tested and seen that you've got low levels and you need to be taking this. And then we also have magnesium malate, which is in powder form, and again, got it in powder form so I can create this specific dosages for me and actually take the recommended amount which is 2.4 grams which gives you around 480 milligrams of magnesium and it's also giving you quite a high dose of malate which is key for the Krebs cycle and the Krebs cycle releases stored energy into ATP and if you don't know about ATP that is what gives us energy so only people that have chronic fatigue syndrome and also adrenal fatigue have got some massive issues with the Krebs cycle and ATP and this form of magnesium is one of the best for giving you an abundance of energy throughout the day I wouldn't recommend taking this one before bed because it could energize you quite a lot and yeah all I do is make sure that I turn on my scales like so and then I will scoop some out of here. They're 2.4 spot on, which is really, really good. And then what I do with this, which doesn't taste the best, but it's not one of the worst tasting supplements, is I put some water in my mouth. And drink it down, just like a lot of bodybuilders do with creatine. And then we get out the DHEA. I would normally use something to scoop it out with, but I haven't got it now, so we'll just see if I can tap a little bit out. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to be taking 25 milligrams of this. 29 milligrams, a little bit over, but that's absolutely fine. And as with the magnesium malate, pick the bowl to make sure it's all actually like, sticking to it. So yeah, that's it. So now we're going to get on with sorting this video out. The app video is all done on YouTube. Check it out by clicking the link up above if you want to check that out. And yeah, I actually need to go out and make a video for my Sunfruit Dan channel as well and do a couple of other things. So yeah, I'm going to head on out in a very, very short while and get on with that, come back, edit that video, upload it, and then do the rest of my online work, such as a lot of my admin work and replying to YouTube comments and so on. So yeah, very busy day as always, and yeah, hope. You are loving seeing in to my lifestyle and what I get up to. So this is where I film every single day when I'm doing videos that I'm just standing in front of a corner and talking and yeah I mostly make those videos for my other YouTube channel called Sunfruit Dan and yeah like next to it is like some pirate cove uh, bar that used to be here but yeah it's not really going on anymore it seems but yeah it's a lovely place to film super super quiet really really like this location and yeah just perfect for the filming needs <music> So I'm just about to take a high dose of nicotinic acid, which is known as vitamin B3 and niacin. This has been shown through scientific research when taking high doses that it massively elevates human growth hormone production about three hours after taking it. So I only take it three hours before training, but today it's about two hours before because I forgot to take it earlier because I'm making this vlog. And what I do is I put the link down below for the scientific research. And I actually make this up myself. What I do is I put some links down below for some niacin supplements that you can buy in case you're interested in them and wanting to boost your human growth hormone levels just like me. And here is lovely <laughs> Annabelle that we've been waiting for. I've been a bit late today. Ah, it's all good, we don't mind. I've been playing. Yeah, you've been having good fun? Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> So me and Annabelle are going to do the Wim Hof method, I just called her the wrong name which is all good. I just took this Bio B12 which has got the cofactors in to actually absorb B12 correctly. This has stopped being made but I've put a link down below for the other B12 supplement in case you're interested in that. So many athletes take it, it doesn't matter what diet you're on, you need to be taking B12 in supplementation form. So many meat eaters end up with this issue as well. And I just worked for around two hours, replied to all YouTube comments on conscious calisthenics 
approved all the comments and denied some on my Southern Fruit Dan channel, replied to all my emails, wrote up a coaching session, done other online admin work, done some house stuff as well, just been like full on and edited the Sunfruit Dan video and uploaded that as well. So yeah, busy, busy, busy. There's no time to waste in life and so many people do. So yeah, before you know, you'll be gone out of this world. So make the most of your life while you're still here. And we have some sort of millipede centipede thing trying to join in on the Wim Hof method. <laughs> And now, yeah, I got the GoPro on. Looking very, very sexy there. <laughs> That's quite funny. Looks like um, I'm going to some fetish thing. But yeah, we're gonna get on our way to the gym and train really hard. just got home made this green smoothie to break my fast and yeah I didn't get to show you it because I am quite delayed uh, I spent another hour additional in the gym than I normally would do because I'm filming this and I got to meet friends for vegan ice cream well vegan banana split ice creams in about 10 minutes and it's pretty close to mine but yeah I'm gonna get on we consume this I put the ingredients here so you know what is exactly in this and yeah super super green micronutrient macronutrient dense food mm. yummy don't 
don't try this at home. <laughs> Dangerous, so yeah, I'm pretty much done now. Done. Let's get our stuff together and get a move on. We arrived here just about on time, a little bit over actually at Lek Organics. My friends are already here, two new friends, well, two friends from Chiang Mai that I haven't seen for months have arrived here, which is amazing. So yeah, let's go and check out the ice cream and this Lek Organics. My lovely friends, Miss Brown. <laughs> Hi. I have a few lovely friends as well. Mm. They have the ice cream they make here. Mm -hmm. They've got all the different toppings, which are all vegan. Chocolates. Oh, oh, and then they have different kinds it's of whipped cream too. Oh, so you could nice. still have the caramel. Oh, wow. Coconut cream and soybean yeah, cream. Yeah, you get to choose, which oh, is amazing. Wow. And then, bum bum bum, let's split, baby. That's what we're after, the banana split, and then he got this. Fruity Everest, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. As well. I think in this one's much bigger. Yeah. From the price lots mm -hmm. of things. Yeah. And then the berry soup, strawberry, yeah. raspberry, blueberry with scoop of ice cream. Mm. And then they have all the dessert. How excited there. are you to try it? I'm, I'm, I don't know how to, act. very excited. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> I haven't too. had a banana split in a really long yeah. time. Tiffany is getting very messy <laughs> here. <laughs> and she's eating some <laughs> healthy food, man, <laughs> man. <laughs> Still looking yeah. good. <laughs> and then, yeah, they got no banana splits, but they don't make them anymore. But yeah, we've got this gluten free booby muffin and these berry soups. I don't know. Very blueberry. Mm. Mm. Just very tasty in general. Yeah, and it's got good moisture. One of, yeah, one of the best blueberry muffins I've ever had. And it's gluten free. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Is this all for me? Mm hmm. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. I was dreaming about it last night. Yeah? Mm. Yeah. Well. Wow. I do a combination. Ooh, that's not good. Wow. <laughs> it's, I would recommend it though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, I could eat several more of those. Wow. We're going to go and check out the sunset. Mass man from yesterday. No, it's cold. It doesn't taste great. And I don't really care about the white rice either. But everything else done. But hmm, I'm feeling full. But... Maybe we should get something else. What do you reckon? Raw vegan bounty bar and a raw vegan vanilla cheesecake. So, yeah, we're gonna try these to see how they are. Well, it tastes a bit like ice cream combined with cheesecake. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, 
they're raw. Really? Mm hmm. Looks like a marble. You want to try? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I have to see me. <laughs> Here's Abby. Try this raw vegan cake. Very sweet. It's a date. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten, eaten cake in, I don't know, a few years. Good. And it really reminds me of... Uh, it's good. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Really good. See, she's been violent again. She's... <laughs> she's got there with it. You got to try it now. Is it there? Blueberry. Oh, you're doing a lot. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> It's a bit ice creamy tasting, yeah. I think. It is, it's good. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's ice creamy. Yeah, definitely one of the better cheese. Yeah, it's better, it's, it's not as too thick. fatty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not as um, dense. And try the bounty box. Yeah, just give me a minute. Wow. Yeah, when I had tofu the other night, the tofu avocado wrap. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it, I felt really good. Like I had, yeah. I had a lot of mangoes and, and a smoothie, and then I had that wrap, and mm -hmm. that was it. And I was, that felt perfect. Nice. Yeah. And it's just more. I just need more protein. Mm -hmm. Then. Yeah, my and body, I got sprouts somewhere. Mm. When I was done. Yeah, my body fried so much more, and like not an excessive amount of protein, but more moderate amount. Yeah. Like for sure. So far as I've been trying to incorporate the more macros to do the one meal, it's been mostly fat. It's much, e it's much easier to yeah. get. Um, so yeah, it's only I barely got it to like 15% protein. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. But 25% fat. 27. Thirty. This is getting quite intense now. <laughs> Raw. Oh yeah, with coconut and stuff. Yeah. Oh wow. Mm. Oh, chocolate. You can have it. Too much for me. Oh. I can almost just eat. Chocolate. Mm. That's what I used to do with a lot of things. Mm. No, it's making me want ice cream. I don't mm. need to sell ice cream here. I don't? I don't need them. I'm going to try your face. That is chocolate, you know, I'm not into chocolate stuff. But you always get it. I know, I don't know why. <laughs> For me. <laughs> For the other thing. Oh, I like the base. done I'm craving ice cream so I might go somewhere else that we will see what happens but if not I will end the video in a bit once I get home. So that is the end of the vlog if you have any questions leave them down below and I get back as soon as possible I love answering your questions and if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone who you think might want to watch this what in a day video what I do in a day and also some of my workout for the day as well and make sure you click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis that will be what I eat in a day videos what I do in a day one meal a day videos calisthenics workout videos and many more videos to help you go in the direction of achieving the body desire the fitness levels and energy levels as well so if those type of videos sound good you make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day without fail so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace <laughs>